Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing today? It's Steve here at Don Amart Leisure. Today's video from me is of a 73 plate, so 2023 Eldis AutoQuest 115. Based on the Peugeot chassis, it is a manual gearbox, um, 2.2, 140 brake horsepower, and probably the most amazing thing is, it's not even done a thousand miles, so it's practically new. Um, it's the AutoQuest 115, now the beauty of that is it's a little two berth, just over six metres long at 6.1. Five, but the AutoQuest carry quite a narrow profile, so they're probably a little bit thinner than a lot of the motorhomes. Um, and uh, and it's got an end kitchen. I couldn't. I, I didn't even know what the kitchen what it was then. So let's have a look round it, because um, as I say, it's a little bit lovely and it's not really gone anywhere. So starting off at the front, you do get the white cab colour with the red and grey accents down the side and the AutoQuest styling. Alloy wheels, which are your 16-inch diamond cut alloys there, and the previous customer has added in mirror guards as well, so you'll save yourself a few quid from that. Coming down the passenger side, it is ad blue, so it is the Euro 6 engine. LPG tanks in there for two. We will come inside in a bit, and then also previous customer has fitted an awning as well, uh, and then you've got a TV aerial on the roof. Round to the back. And you do have the rear reversing camera system and then options to put a bike rack on there should you want to and that's your toilet cassette because you've also got an end or side bathroom there and then this side here is just where your leisure battery will be and your plug-in in bit i'm all official today I'm, I'm honestly i'm so professional today um so Wendy's just catching me up. So into the habitation door before we go inside and you have your habitation bin just there. And then it also comes with a fly screen that will go all the way across. So in the nicer weather, you can have your door open. If we jump on in. And as we said, we'll start at the back this time. I normally go back to forward to back, but let's go different. I just fancy being a bit different. So. At the back here is your end kitchen, as we said. Lovely window looking out while you're cooking your bacon in the morning. It is a three gas hob with a separate grill and oven. There. Nice black sink, which I think is one of the nicest features on the Eldis because it is just lovely and, and complements everything. Rather lovely. Then you've got a little bit of extra storage just there because it comes out quite a way, so you can rest a few little bits on there drawers down there and then there is your fridge and it is a three-way fridge so you can run it off your leisure battery your gas and it will power off your vehicle battery when you're driving it won't cool down it'll just maintain a temperature little bit of an extension of the kitchen here with a couple of plug sockets you've also got your tv point just there as well microwave above and then in here is your tv aerial point yeah. and a bit of storage in there and your microwave switch nice big drawer there and then a cupboard there and then still staying at the back and that is your washroom area so it is a wet room style washroom but again it's a pretty decent size for a van that's six meters and the other thing that is impressive for a just over six meter van is a really really decent wardrobe space where you've got your awning winder nice and neatly stored in there and your freestanding fold away table but it's massive which you don't always get in the smaller vans mm -hmm. heading further down and this is your living and sleeping area here so if you're small like me and yes they all pick on me but it's fine i'm over it you'd probably get away with just lying on it as a single bed if you wanted to but it will also make up on a double bed and what again i like about the eldest is, is this end bit here doesn't make up as the bed so the bed stops here so in the morning if you just wanted to have a cup of tea before you wake up or whatever you can sit on these yeah. and still leave your bed made up so you're not rushing around to get everything sorted you can get yourself going you can wake up you can have some cereal or whatever and then get everything sorted for your daytime so it's quite useful all the way across the top decent amount of storage space as you can see on that side and then the exact same on this side so there's quite a lot of room again for a van that's not huge 
to have a lot of storage and nice lighting above me here and there's also a light at the back as well um heating and hot water controls are just tucked out the way here so it is the whale heating system where if you wave at it it'll come alive really really intuitive really really easy to use and then under here there is a little bit of storage so if i do this because it's easy to get to you've got storage under that one there and then if i'll do the same on the other side i'm having a rush to the end here a little bit of storage space in there obviously you know keeping it nice and out of the way of things and then finally you've got a little bit on top here at the front there it goes all the way around and then recesses here so you can actually hide a few bits and bobs in there as well then into the cab which is pretty self-explanatory and straightforward we have got twin spinning captain seats so they will spin round on your screen here that's where you'll have um, your satellite navigation your DAB radio and your phone connectivity for your Bluetooth which you can also control from your controls there yeah. and there's speed limit and cruise control as well in terms of your reversing camera it's all up here so it's nice and neat and out of the way and you can use that as a fully on like normal when you're driving as well and then you've got 12 volt USB there climate control couple of drinks holders so everything you need really and this nice decor and then also a nice little feature it does have cab blinds to the front and the side but then you've also got a curtain yeah. so you can wind your curtain all the way round as well so you can put your blinds on and then put your curtains on as well so it just gives you that little bit of extra um, <clears throat> any windows that open will have a pull down a pull down fly screen and a pull down blind and that also applies to these because these open so you've got your blind one side and your fly screen the other side so for those of you that are looking for a really really great first time van or just the two of you and you want to get away and you're looking at brand new the auto quest are a great range and like i said although they look very spacious inside they are slightly narrower so you'll get them on your drive potentially and stuff like that so it won't take up that much of a foot space so it could be perfect for you if you are looking at the AutoQuest range and the 115 in particular, obviously this one's in stock, it's brand new and it is for sale. So head on over to Don Amos if you want to have a come and have a look. Speak to me first and ask for Steve because uh, I'd love to help. And don't forget to pick up the phone just to make sure that it is still available if you're travelling because we'd hate for it to sell while you're en route. Thanks for watching and hopefully it's been useful and we'll see you very soon. Ta-da!